To know the Bible is to know Jesus. Hello again, I'm Pastor Nate Siles, Director of Tell, and welcome to Lesson 9 in the Tell Introduction to the Bible video series. In this final lesson, we'll learn how to care for the precious gift of faith. After completing this lesson, you will be eligible to sign up for our online Bible study with a live Tell instructor. Once you register, we will contact you with further information on class days and times in your area. We look forward to meeting you. Until then, please complete Lesson 9 in the Introduction to the Bible Self-Study course. Let's start learning. Welcome to Introduction to the Bible, Lesson 9. In this lesson, we'll review the major events of the Bible and put them in order. Think about this. To know the Bible is to know Jesus. We have the promise of our Savior, whose death and resurrection is meant to save us all. Our hope and faith comes from God's Word. The Holy Spirit blesses us with the gift of faith. How do we take care of the precious gift of faith? Our teacher will help us answer these questions as we evaluate God's Word, beginning with the book of Matthew, chapter 17, the part of Scripture we're studying for this lesson, the Transfiguration of Jesus. At a time just before Jesus' death, He took Peter, James and John to the top of a mountain. While there, wonderful things happened. His, Jesus, face shone like the sun and his clothes became as white as the light. Just then there appeared before them Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. Jesus gave the disciples a glimpse of his glory as true God. Peter was so excited that he wanted to build shelters and stay there forever. However, that was not God's plan. Jesus needed to return to Jerusalem to die on the cross for all of humankind. God, the Father, had other plans. A bright cloud covered them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my Son, whom I love. With Him I am well pleased. Listen to Him. How will we hear Jesus' voice? Every time we read and study God's Word, we can hear Jesus' loving voice, His forgiving voice, His guiding voice. To learn the lesson fully, our teacher will identify the problem and the solution and apply it to our lives. The problem is we often do not take time for God's Word. Even a brief look at Jesus will tell you that He is an impressive man. His compassion for the hurting, His words of wisdom, His courage to stand up against the self-righteous people of His day, these things alone make Him an extraordinary person. But a closer look at Jesus says much more. Jesus is not just a man. He is God Himself. He is our solution. He proved this with many miracles and many ancient prophecies fulfilled. He came here to live a perfect life on our behalf. He came to suffer and die for our every sin. He came to rise from death. All this He did so that now, through faith in Him, you and I may have life, life to the full. We fail by neglecting God's Word again and again. But because of God's love for us, we are forgiven. Even if you have never listened for Jesus in the past, you are guilt-free through His death and resurrection, free to give God's Word your full attention. Listen for Jesus' voice today. To help you remember what we've learned so far, We'll review a simple timeline of the major events of the Bible. From 4000 BC to 0 AD was creation, the birth of Jesus and the Old Testament years. 2500 BC marks Noah's flood. 2000 BC marks the time of the patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons, those sons including Joseph's sons, 
became the 12 tribes of Israel. 1800 BC marks when Joseph was sold into slavery and taken to Egypt. Later, Joseph became a powerful leader. 1400 BC marks the time of Moses' exodus from Egypt. After Moses died, Joseph led the people into the Promised Land. The time between Joshua and the kings is the time of the judges. 1000 BC marks the time of the kings, Saul, David and Solomon. From the time of the kings to Malachi at 400 BC, we call the time of the prophets. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. The prophets told the Israelites to repent of their idol worship and look forward to the coming Savior, Jesus. The Old Testament was written between the time of Moses and Malachi. There is nothing written in the Bible about the 400 years between Malachi and 0 AD when Christ was born. The New Testament was written between 50 AD and 95 AD. It includes the Gospel of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and Jesus' life, death and resurrection. Jesus was crucified, died and was buried in 33 AD. 0 AD begins the New Testament times. Since we don't know when Jesus will return to earth, we don't know when the New Testament times will end. The Bible records just the first 100 years of the Christian Church. We live in New Testament times now. Congratulations! You've completed the Tell Network self-led courses, Spiritual Healing, Truth Brings Peace and the Introduction to the Bible. You're now ready to join our Tell Network pastor for a live online Bible study. Visit us at tellnetwork.org or our Facebook page for details. We hope you'll lead family, friends and people you meet to join our Bible study. You will be blessed and be a blessing to others seeking peace.